Well, you got a lot to talk about. I do, and and what's crazy is that we're we're living in a time right now where um, the the variable for for the media is is clicks, and it's not about the due dil- diligence and and checking on the validity of a source. It's like we got to be first, and there's no honor amongst thieves. They just want to get it out there. Man, I learned this from Skip Bayless. He was talking about what he talks on when he tweets stuff. He doesn't even read comments. He just mm. looks at the insights and see if it spikes. He's going with it. That's what he's going with. That's you know, his entire like, career. Not even that's like all of ESPN. Doesn't care if he's right, wrong, whatever. As long as it got more impressions, that's that's, that's his what opinion he's going now. With. Yeah. And mm. have you been you've been fucked over by that? Hundred oh. percent. Irreparable. As, as, I don't know. Remains to be seen. Really? Remains to be seen. Now, this is the Me Too shit. Correct. And as DL said to me, you took one for the team. Mm. Really? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, a case of uh, collateral damage. It was you got lumped in with the bad guys. Correct. And we're cleaning house. We're mm-hmm. getting all the. Not only we cleaning. Well, yeah, we're cleaning house. Uh, this guy is an easy target. Mm. Um, he he is a very powerful um, this agent, is, right? He, this is right because think about this. You, it's very easy if you've created this. You know this. I've created this this character. Now they had just taken down another powerful Hollywood guy. What's another powerful Hollywood guy? I'm just a, I am a, a journeyman actor, just play one on stage TV. actor. <laughs> I, I I grew up in in extreme poverty Mm -hmm. Um, my parents are theater actors I grew up in in a retirement home I am a a Jewish stage actor there is no white privilege Mm -hmm. there has never been any white privilege yeah Uh, I did 40 movies uh, before I did entourage where I'm you know playing blah 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 you know his best friend we are getting scale plus 10 and I'm grinding and I was I wouldn't change a thing Right. Okay, so I've earned every crumb I've ever, you know, in, in my entire life. Right. You know, I've auditioned for all those roles. And then unbeknownst to me, you play a big major Hollywood guy, mm-hmm. you know, who is very abrasive. And we all know those people. They mm-hmm. exist. And they're not so fun. To, it, it, it's fun to watch, yeah. but we don't really want to be around them. Let's be honest. I mean, that's why you put it on TV. It's entertaining. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... That's a, that's an easy target to take a shot who at. Who wouldn't believe the story about no, not only who wouldn't believe it, but yeah. who wouldn't rally behind to of take course. that guy down? Because you Listen, must be him, right? Right. And every they, time we see you, you're doing these abrasive, brash things. You're speaking absolute, about women in a certain way. So why wouldn't you do that in your regular life? Correct. Actors are real. Correct. That's what I was saying earlier about you become this character, right? You, it is so synonymous with who you are. So any behavior within that character becomes believable within your life. Now, do you regret any of it? Like with the, no, the, you, you that that's a just slippery slope. Being so slope. tied to that character, you, you, the, you but don't. do you think it was targeted? Do you think it was a specific target? Because I look no. at guys like Louie and shit like that, and I'm like, none of these girls offered information. They were contacted. That mm-hmm. means that there is a strike. That means somebody said, you know who we're getting today? We're getting Louie. This is the story. Figure out the evidence to support it. Like some college essay. Mm-hmm. And we've heard. Do you think that that same yeah. thing was with you where they were like, hey, this is the story. How do we prove it? They th- think about this for a second. Who benefits how, from putting that story out what is the variable how much as you just said your your buddy it's all about the clicks right mm-hmm. so the problem was it was a feeding frenzy and the editors basically said go out there get me more get me more mm-hmm. get me get me those hollywood actors let you know what i mean let's round them up mm-hmm. and and so wow. that and, and, but the problem is now is that the audience has you know they've worn out that they they're not they're looking at it going well, who 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 are you taking down that you know when, when you yeah, see some shit, it's, it's, it's like, like oh yeah, and so and so it's almost like you know when, when um it, it, it's on here's the biggest tragedy okay. of what's happened mm-hmm. is because of that and because of opportunists coming out of the woodwork the real victims are taking a step back mm-hmm. and that 
forget about me. I'm just some random dude that got taken down. Mm-hmm. I took one for the team. Forget about me. Um, I'm just one dumb life. Who cares, right? It was only my whole life that that I put towards acting, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter, right? Just put, put me aside. Uh, you know, I just, you know, just put. It's all good. So well, you're, you're that should hit me in my stomach. I'm like, Damn, it hurts. Oh my okay, <laughs> right. Um, but what's more important than that is that you know, it's it, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a deep misuse. Abuse of power. power. Yeah, of it, re- it really is. And now what's happened is, if you notice, they'll try that stuff. They tried it with Tony Robbins. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They, 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 it keeps happening. What you don't hear about is that Jeffrey Rush, Academy Award winner Jeffrey Rush, just took the um, Australian, t- the, the, the Telegraph, to court over his Me Too stuff and, and won, won. Mm. and won, and they paid him for all the money that he lost because they said, no, no, of course you don't see it. Mm. The, wait, hold on a second. Think about that. Mm. The yeah. first actual, we're not talking about the court of public opinion. Yeah. Mm. We're talking about an actual court, and none of us have heard about it, mm. and it just happened. Mm. We don't want that stuff mm. because it messes with the golden goose. Doesn't do clicks. What's the golden goose? No, no, it's not about the golden goose. The golden goose has been, yeah, is it's been the scandal. Right. The scandal is is the golden goose. But but the every accusation is a golden egg. Right. Right. But it's lost its momentum now, and people they see it and they go, I I don't know if we can believe this stuff anymore, man. It's every day you're you're taking down a new dude, and 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 you know, do do we? And they're they're shutting off now. What's reality for me? Reality for me is every morning I have to check in, and 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 go deep and go inward, and and understand and own the truth. And operate like that. Mm-hmm. You can't be a slave to your thoughts and your fears. Otherwise, you'll be in deep trouble. Mm-hmm. That's that's why people really go off the rails. And when I go on the road and I'm selling out these rooms and I'm standing up there with nothing to hide and I'm making them laugh from beginning to end and that's my job, yeah. that's real. Mm-hmm. That's that's reality. Not, and, and the rest of it, I can't control. But I can connect with people on the road. Mm-hmm. I can get better as a comic every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And not take a victim mentality, which is, man, they took me down. Yeah, yeah. But might, you what, were tight. Admit that there had to be moments where you're like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Well, when, when nothing makes sense, when absolutely nothing makes sense, uh, it 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 it, 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 it can it just it can do your head in. Yeah, it can really do your head in. Yeah, for sure, no doubt. <laughs> there is a uh, there's a I can't say names, but a buddy of mine was dating a woman who was one of the women who called out, I forget who it was, Weinstein or something like that, right? And um, she, uh, what he said, what she said to him was, uh, I'm upset that I'm not getting offered to co-host The View. I'm upset that I'm not getting these same offers that these other women are getting. Meaning she, her purpose for there coming was out for was to yeah. get, was to get on the fucking <sighs> View and be a co-host. And she was, it was like, whoa. Whoa! There's always motives behind that type of shit. Though. What's what, what's what's much worse than that mm. is the woman that was raped. Yeah, the, yeah. That's the worst is, part is, about is the it. woman that was raped and is saying, "Hold on, man, this 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 is this has become something else, and, yeah. and, and, I, I, and I can't." And and she's not coming forward. Or that's that's forward the tragedy. Out what by, the what the great things right. that have come. There's yeah. been some great things that have come out of this. Equal pay, yeah. Um, in, you know, in, in terms, uh, you know, my sister is a, is a director. She's women are getting more opportunities than ever before as directors. Right. There's been some amazing things, and I'll take one for the team for that. Mm-hmm. You know what? Uh, I'll, you know, she I'll, can't I'll, put I'll, you I'll, in a movie. I'm saying, you know what I mean? like, bro, <laughs> sis, what's up? Come on, sis. <laughs> Took a little sip of that yeah. drink, like this. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no lie can last forever. <laughs> Just remember that. Remember that. So that's this, why we got to control our shit. What were you saying? Two questions I had, and they might be the same thing. One, you said you have to go inward every morning yeah. and say, I know the truth. Or yeah. What is the truth to you? The, the, the truth is I know who I am, and I know who, the, who I am in my soul. And, and people can, can, you know, they can have a misconception about me, but I can't control that narrative. 
You know what I mean? I can only control what I know to be but the you truth. you can't well, control well, it. Yeah, now. and this is what I was going to... My second question is, you said you're just a guy who's misunderstood. And you, yeah. you have an opportunity as a comic to be understood. Cliff's Notes for us. What do you want understood about you? Yeah, I have a joke for you, by the way. I think I, it depends Go. if you want to... <laughs> it depends if you want to use it. But... Uh, uh, like if you're in a really shitty town doing stand up, you can say that like one of the benefits of the Me Too movement is you get to see me here. <laughs> <laughs> I would never be in Homestead, Pennsylvania <laughs> if it wasn't for hashtag me too. <laughs> How stupid, man. Like that's a way of leaning into leaning this into this thing. See, you know yeah, you know what's interesting? It's funny. Um If if I if I were to one of the one of the misconceptions about me is that um, I really enjoy going bad on people and uh, making them feel terrible, mm. and I'm an equal opportunity offender. You know, that's basically what Ari Gold was. The character was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, was the greatest. What my job with that character was was to take a guy that said terrible things to people, very hurtful things. And to make him uh, dimensional mm. and and truthful and accessible mm -hmm. and human. And, tr and human and tragic and all of these things. And that was my job. And the result of putting everything that I had into this character. And by the way, like you talked about Chappelle. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I've got 40 years on the stage as an actor. So, mm -hmm. there, you know, that wasn't an accident. Right. I didn't get lucky. It wasn't because the suit fit. Right. You know what I mean? There were other variables that were involved. Yeah. I went to NYU. I went to the National Theater of Great Britain and, and studied Shakespeare. I was at um, Second City doing sketch comedy and improv and all mm -hmm. these things. And a lot of people, yeah, I mean, like, even Joe Rogan, when, when he introduced me one night, he said, yeah, that, that's all we need is another actor trying to do stand-up. You know what I mean? And <laughs> it, yeah, 1,000%. Yeah, you know? And, 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 the, and, and the reason Joe. why Joe is so... Um, so loved is because he is authentic yeah, yeah. And, pe and people gravitate towards that yeah. and he'll never stop being that way and then afterwards he came up to me and he said he said oh you take this seriously and i do yeah, yeah. and believe me if i didn't you would have heard about it yeah. right oh, you yeah. would have heard oh, yeah. that's Could've that's why it. i feel like you, feel you must be doing well because nobody's talking about yeah. you period they're not going to compliment you yeah okay they're not going to call you because they're not rooting for you well, did but, you did you hear what DL said uh, the other day about me when no. we were I was doing his show and I love DL. He's yeah. one of my favorite comics. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, he hits on many different levels, and he now I'm saying that yeah, he's yeah. saying, but I'm no, gonna cut that clip that he hits on men, not different <laughs> levels. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna run with that. That's gonna be great. <laughs> um, Hashtag no, he, he, too. He, <laughs> he too. We, we were we were both doing um, we were both doing this charity gig. By the way, you'll never get see any coverage of any charity I ever do. Yeah. You'll never see a picture of me and my mom walking down the street. That's a real charity, ever. though. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll do it for the fan, for you know, the So to, to be understood, shit. yeah, I'm a fucking mama's boy. Yeah, I grew up in That's Chicago. So yeah, I have a great relationship with my mom and my sister. Yeah, I've grinded my whole life. Yeah, I'm a decent human being. Yeah, I have people's back. Yeah, Boring. I'm Boring. <laughs> yeah. Boring as shit. Who the fuck cares about that yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Who would right? you curse out? Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, we need, we need a scandal. We need a story. We, you know... Um, but what was DL saying? So DL said that, you know, he said that he saw me up on stage and he was actually jealous because he knew how long I've been doing stand up. And I said to him, there's no way you were jealous. There's no way. Because right. that guy is is a king, man. Killer. He mm. crushes it. And I'm still just trying to figure it out. But the fact that he said, by the way, DL doesn't have to say that. Yeah. He would never, know. ever say that. Yeah. Um, so I do know that, uh, yeah, believe me, if I, if I was up there running the clock out, doing a QA, and a being a hack, you would have heard. Running the clock out, doing a Q&A. <laughs> you know what Bro. I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can name but, names. I've seen, I've seen some. I've seen some shows. You, so. you know what I'm saying is if you if were running, running out, I yeah. welcome it, anyone. We would know. If you were yeah. the guy that asked to go second, <laughs> we would have heard about it. We would, we would know. We would know. Yeah. And again, I haven't seen you. Asked to go second, I take... I take, a, a, you know, any killer, any killer that want, that's, that's not headlining yet and wants to open for me, I will only get better.